Hey guys, it's Dilly and today I am doing the You're Not Good Enough book tag. This was created by Chami from Read Like Wildfire and she tagged me in it when she originally did this video and it's taken me this long to actually do it. But hey, at least I am. So I've got to fill up this little jar thingy with characters and I honestly can't be bothered to count how many I need, so I'm just going to keep writing them until I can't stuff any more into this jar. I'm going to try and limit it to like one or two characters per book slash series because I don't want it to just be like all the characters from like the Lunar Chronicles, even though I love them all. Where are my gays at? So this tag basically entails writing a bunch of character names into a tub and mixing that up. Then you pretty much have to put these characters into like questions slash situations where you then have to choose which character is better for that situation. So basically one of those characters just won't be good enough to fit into them. So let's just get started. I don't even know how many questions there are, so yeah. You only have one more spot on your spelling bee team. Who would you pick to complete your team? Okay, so we've got Luna Lovegood and we also have Kel from the Adaka Shade of Magic series. So who would I pick on my team? Um, you know what? I'm just going to go with Luna because from what I can recall, she's smart, maybe a little loopy, but I think that having her there would definitely encourage me to be good at spelling bees because I'm quite clearly good at words. Number two, both characters want to kill you. Which one would you kill first so you have a better chance at surviving? <laughs> so I've got Morrigan from the Court of Thorn and Roses series and Elias from an Ember in the Ashes and pretty much I'm screwed. I'm dead no matter what. Um, well, well, this is really tough because I don't think I could ever kill Morrigan. Like, I love her to bits, but I also know that I probably have more of a chance of surviving if... Morrigan was dead. So I think I would have to get over it and kill Morrigan and then I would take down Elias because he would learn to trust me and then I would go for his weak side and kill him. Number three, you're on The Bachelor slash The Bachelorette and you're down to these two characters. Which are you going to give your rose to? So we have Thomas from The Maze Runner and Percy from Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and honestly I can't pick Percy because those books I just picture him as a child and you know when I think of Thomas I think of Dylan O'Brien so I'm gonna give him my rose because it's Dylan O'Brien and I love him. Number four you have been chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would most likely volunteer in your place? We have Leia from An Ember in the Ashes and Leda from And I Darken and that's easy no way would Leda step in for me I'm gonna have to choose Leia from An Ember in the Ashes she's probably the nicest out of the two she would save me. Number five, you are stranded on a desert island. Which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibalism? Uh, we either have Feyre from A Quarter Thorn and Roses or Mara Dyer from the Mara Dyer trilogy. And I would sacrifice Mara Dyer because she is the most whiny character and I hate her so much and I would definitely eat her. Number six, you're the next DC slash Marvel superhero with your own TV show, of course. Who is your sidekick? Noah from The Raven Cycle or Aristotle. Oh my god, these are both cinnamon rolls. Anyone who is watching this knows how much I love Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Olia Sands, and I recommend that you guys read that book. But I am going to have to go with Noah because he has some very good sidekick ghost skills that I think would come in very handy on my TV series. I'm so sorry, Ari. I'm so sorry. Number seven, you are a manager of an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for lack of communication skills? Aiden from the Illuminae Files or Jane from My Lady Jane? Lack of communication skills. Um, you know, I'm actually going to go with Jane because if any of you guys have actually read My Lady Jane, there is actually quite a bit of miscommunication and, um, I think that she would be fired for that. And I wouldn't be working there in the first place because I hate avocados. Yep, you heard me. Number eight. You've just finished a book in which your favourite character dies. Which character is most likely to comfort you? There's a character in this jar and I swear to god if I get him. We have Inej from the Six of Crows series. And Isabella from the Mortal Instruments. And this once again is a very easy one. Inej is not going to comfort me. Um, but Isabelle, I would happily happily allow her to cuddle me when I cry into her arms. Number nine. 
Nine. Ugh, it's high school. Who would most likely be part of the popular clique? Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series and Hermione from Harry Potter. And who would be in the popular clique? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Annabeth because as much as I love Hermione, she is not in the popular clique. Although she is a favourite, she just wouldn't be. I know it. So I guess it's gonna be Annabeth. And if you think about it, all like the Percy Jackson gang is the popular clique and we all really do wish we were in that clique, right? Number 10. The day has arrived. You're finally one year older. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? We've got Kestrel from The Witness Curse and we also have Emmy from Everything Leads to You and I'm gonna have to go and say that Emmy would forget it because Kestrel's like the smartest character that I know so she's not gonna forget my birthday. Number 11. You have just found an upcoming booktube star. Who would that most likely be? Adrian Ivers... Ivershoff from the Vampire Academy series and the spin-off Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead or Delilah Bard um, from A Darker Shade of Magic and honestly I can see them both just being booktube stars. Adrian would be absolutely hilarious and I've just pictured Delilah Bard like looking like Lily from Lily C. Reads and just completely being amazing on booktube but I honestly think that them together Together on a booktube channel would be the greatest thing in the entire world. That would probably be the best channel ever. So I'm gonna have to say both of them. Are we allowed to do that? Are we? If I'm not supposed to do that, say something now. I get to do it. Number 12, sleepover time. Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would you invite? We have Alice from Alice in Wonderland and we have Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles and I'm gonna go with Thorn because he is so funny and I love him and I honestly just think that I'd be laughing at the entire sleepover. Number 13, BAM! You are pregnant! Who is the mother slash father? Um... <laughs> we've got Jon Snow from Game of Thrones and then we also have Manchi, the dog from Chaos Walking and this is probably why I shouldn't have put animals in here because I'm obviously going to be pregnant <laughs> with Jon Snow's child. I'm obviously going to be pregnant with Jon Snow's child and I guess that we can keep Manchi as our pet forever. Number 14, you've just written a super important text. Who would see it but not reply? Bilbo Baggins or Alex from the Yakane series. Bilbo Baggins is definitely the one who would see it and not reply because he is too busy having adventures. This is the last question and I have like four thingies left, so good, good, good. Number 15, you've just woken up and it's time for breakfast. Your mum has been replaced by who? All right, we have Aileen from the Throne of Glass series. And we also have Rysand from the Accord of Mist and Fury series. And honestly, if I had written Selena on here, I would have picked her. But I wrote Aileen and I just can't even handle all of her problems at the moment. Because, like, I don't want to be dragged into all that action. So I'm going to have to pick Rysand, even though I don't even like him that much. Like, you guys are probably going to shoot me for that. But he's, like, an okay character. But I think that I would just like to see him making me food and flying around. Especially like if he could just fly and go get me pancakes and then bring them back. That would be really, really good. So there you guys have the You're Not Good Enough book tag and I have made an absolute mess of this room just by writing names on paper. I just, I'm, I'm horrible. Mess. I will tag people below. I don't actually know who I'm going to tag right now because everyone has pretty much done this video. I'm like super late to the party, but I did it. So I will tag links to people below. This is why I'd be terrible at the spelling bee, okay? I can't even form coherent sentences. If you guys are watching and you guys want to do this tag, go ahead, I tag you guys, so just do it. It's really fun and um, you get to like look at all your books and think of characters that you love, so that's also really good. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and until then, have a lovely bookish day and hopefully great things happen to you. Hey guys, it's Tilly and I bought a few books this month again. Probably a few too many.